Zhao Shao Hao. Good morning. We are exploring headwear. What can you do with a paper bag? Huh? What are we going to learn about? Headwear. Hats. Different cultures that have used headwear in their artwork. Take a look at some of this Mayan headwear. And look at this crown by, worn by Napoleon Bonaparte. Now here, we're gonna study this artwork that's actually the god of wealth in military aspect from China, the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911. This is porcelain and it's painted with a variety of colors you can see that he is wearing a special headdress that represents a deity, a popular deity in China known as the God of Wealth. Here he's seated on a gilded silver throne. He wears his most sumptuous, sumptuous clothing including a filigreed hat with pearls, jade, and kingfisher feathers. So we're gonna use this as inspiration and start with a paper bag. Measure out five inches from the bottom of the bag. And we're not gonna discard that last cutoff piece. If you have a ruler, use it so that it's nice and straight. You can also use a gift bag. Uh, if you have a smaller bag, that would probably fit your head better. But this is the only bag I have. Here we go, that's gonna be my hat. So, what is the next step? I'm gonna cut the leftover part of the bag open and I'm gonna fold this in half so I can have duplicate cuts. That means identical cuts, two of the same exact drawing. I'm using a template from this book and I'm gonna use a variety of lines. What kind of line do you see? What have you studied in art with lines? Hmm, what kind of line do I see? I guess I'd see sort of a, a curved line. Hmm, maybe even wavy. What do you think? Well, I see a curved line. And I'm actually going to try to fill the whole bag with this big curved line. And I have a curved lines going and repeating in this inner line I'm adding. So I have two sets of curved lines and then I'm gonna add a zigzag line here. Now for the crown on the front. So I'm gonna mark here at the end and I'm gonna try to fill this whole paper bag the whole leftover draw big so that it's easy for the audience to see your hat your headdress add those inner lines just taking your time doing your best I'm fast forwarding this just to preserve time, but in, in real time, I'm taking my precious care, precious time. Outline it. I'm using oil pastels, but you can use crayons, markers, whatever materials are available to you. And I'm going to go ahead and paint this now that I've outlined it. If you do have paint, don't use too much water. Otherwise the bag will, you know, it might get messed up, it might get soggy and fragile. All right, so I chose two different color harmonies. A color harmony, huh? What colors are those? Well, the warm colors are red, orange, and yellow, and the cool colors are purple, blue, and green. Color theory is an element of art. 
and here we go. I'm folding my paper for duplicate cuts and I'm cutting the biggest shapes out first. And I'm holding this paper together very carefully so that I can get the exact same cut. And I'm cutting these small shapes second. Just taking my time, doing my best, cutting those details out. All right, I got my duplicate cuts here. Now I can start working on the second part of my headdress. Put something under your second piece so that it's easier for you to color the edges and just create two of each. Now it's time to glue these additions on. So I'm gonna decide which side will be the front and I'm going to spread this glue out. If you have stick glue, use that. Spread this glue so that it's not lumpy. I use a paintbrush for this or you could call it a glue brush in this case. And I'm just gonna spread it out so it's even and I know that this is gonna glitter. Add some special touches with that. If you don't, that's okay. Use the materials that are available to you. All right, I can create a hat out of a paper bag. Indeed, I am happy with my hat. Now, if you wanna make your hat a little bit smaller, get some help with this part. Cut the side. I'm just cutting a little slit in the side. See how I'm trying to kind of fold it together and just tighten that edge up a little bit. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. You can glue it and staple it together so it's a little bit thinner. It, it makes a little bit of a difference. Indeed, I am proud of my hat. I'm proud too, way to go. Enjoy.